hello guys welcome back to the ctx cloud and this is the video number 11 in our training series so in our last just uh, last video we have seen that how to integrate static machines with the citrix and how to publish static machine to the end user so in this training series uh, in this training video we are going to see how to create a mcs golden image for multi-session os and in next video we will see how to create a golden image for static uh, windows 10 machines so let me quickly go into my uh, vCenter. So I'm just powering on my vCenter. So it will take some time. So just let me pause this video. So guys, you can see that my vCenter is back after login. So let me quickly login into my vCenter. Just type the vCenter address. And you can see that it's the vCenter login screen enter the credentials so for the vcenter so just wait for the login so you guys you can see that i am inside my vcenter and uh, i have shown you that this is the master uh, image i have created for windows server 2012 so let me quickly set up this windows server uh, 2012 for the golden image for that you simply need to login into with the vCenter I mean administrator account after that you need to again need to change the name of this VM okay let me change it to ctx mcs gi golden image w i n win 2 k 12 okay that's fine and again make sure you are on the same time zone where your delivery controller is so i'm going to change the time zone i'm going to select ist click on ok ok and just restart it so my vcenter uh, my first golden image is reporting for multi-session os let me join this machine into the domain just go on to the run system.cpn just change it enter into domain ctxcloud.in just enter the administrator account and then your password And you can see that uh, this is uh, this has been successfully joined into the domain so click on ok click on restart so uh, just login into this machine with the domain account ctx cloud slash administrator and then password so in production environment you can choose your account who have the administration privilege so in my case i'm using the administrator account so that's fine the another setting i need to do is uh, turn off the firewall So in production environment you can create the rules for VDA 1494259 but in the lab environment that's fine if you will turn off all the firewalls so that's enough for us. Now uh, you need to install all the required software into this image so let me quickly access my share drive where I have installed this 
notepad plus plus so click run as, run as administrator so i'm going to show you guys only one software so based on your requirement you can install anything like uh, excel word or sap or whatever it is required in your environment so as of now i have installed one software which is notepad notepad plus plus and the same we are going to publish this notepad plus plus to the end users so after that uh, you know i have installed the required software so in my lab environment i need a notepad plus plus only for to publish the users so yeah again on your based on your requirements you can install all the uh, softwares after that you guys need to mount the citrix iso uh, for the vda installation so let me click on browse let me go into data store then go to the ISO and just wait it's take taking time to load so just select Windows apps 19 apps and desktop 1912 LPSR so just select this and click on OK after that you are able to see that the ISO has been mounted into this uh, uh, golden image so it's time to install the vda for the master image i mean the golden image so click on start now it's select you need to select the virtual delivery agent for the multi-session os so just select this so and now it's giving the option uh, create a master image for mcs so if you are creating the right now we are creating this for mcs so obviously we need to select mcs if you are going using the pvs so just select this option and if you are using the manual then select the third option but in our case uh, we are creating this uh, image for the mcs so on later videos we will select the provisioning server when we create the pvs so right now it's the mcs so just select this uh, create a master image for mcs so select this so workspace environment i'm going to select this otherwise this is not required so that's fine for me just select this now it's selected uh, support scalability citrix profile management that's required citrix profile manager wim so that's the default options i'm going to select this because i'm not using app v and other uh, things in my environment so just select this now it's time to and give the address for your delivery controller so i'm going to give it give it ctx xtc svr01 dot ctx cloud dot in so just copy this and make a test so test is verified click on add now just select the another delivery controller so again pass a test and the test is successful so i have added both the delivery controllers click on next now i'm going to select yes uh, optimize these tools uh, for the uh, for the golden image click on next so here is the some ports which is used by the vda's uh, 149 port 2598 port number 88083 and again 1494 and 2598 so these are some default ports which is used by the vda so there is lots of pdf in the internet so you can guys you can go on those pdfs and search for these ports so i'm going to click on next and click on install so uh, it's uh, installing the prerequisites which is required for the vda installation some of the re requirement is dot net uh, 4.7 and later version is required microsoft remote desktop session host remote desktop connection because it's using the multi-session os so remote desktop uh, connection is required now again the desktop experience because uh, at the end user is using uh, end user is not going to use the server os screen so he needs like a desktop so that's why this role has uh, has been installed automatically on this golden image and the last core component is virtual delivery agent and post installation and this will show us a finished screen so i'm going to wait for some time until this installation has been finished so i'm going to pause this video until this installation finished
so you can see that after uh, first prerequisites is asking for the report because dotnet is requ uh, dotnet uh, uh, required the reboot so i'm going to reboot this vdi so let me click on ok so uh, the vm is reporting so i'm going to wait another few minutes and it's a good thing of citrix that post uh, report the installation starts automatically if uh, you have mounted the iso in a proper way so let me log in into this with the same account and you can see that installation has been started automatically so just wait for one second so again guys i'm going to pause with this video uh, otherwise the video will go around um, more than one hour so to keep this short i'm going to pause this video so guys you can see that virtual delivery agent has been installed and it's the last step uh, finishing so it's finished so let me uncheck this click on next and let me restart this click on finish and then restart so my vm is really rebooting i mean the golden image is reporting let me reset this and let me unmount the iso from here so i'm going to select click client client device click on ok So after reboot, the VM is back. Let me log in into here. So as of now, my golden image for multi-session OS is ready. So after that, what you need to do is you need to simply go into the start and then uh, just wait for one minute so that it can finish all the tasks so now you need to go into the start menu and then click on shutdown click on ok so it's shutting down i'm going to wait until this completes the process Meanwhile, just refresh this. Okay, so you guys, you can see that my golden image for multi-session OS has been shut down. So now you need to right-click on the that machine and go on to the snapshot. So let me search for the snapshot uh, let me click here yeah this is the snapshot so click on take the snapshot i am going to give this golden image hyphen image hyphen Win two k twelve hyphen one. So based on this zero one zero two. So we are uh, the next time we will upgrade how to upgrade the machine catalog for MCS. That's uh, in the next video we will see how we can take an another snapshot and upgrade the 
machine catalog so as of now that's fine i have created the snapshot for this virtual machine now it's time to create the another like uh, other servers with this golden image so for that you need to go on to uh, delivery controller so after that you need to go on the machine catalog so just wait until my machine catalog loads so let me i'm going to give the same naming convention so just copy this and click on create a machine catalog click on next so uh, now you need to select so you have seen that uh, in my previous video i have selected that remote pc so uh, now it's you need to select multi-session os so click on next and here you need to select that yes it's the man it's the ma power managed uh, machines uh, which is hosted on a blades uh, pc or you can say that on a hypervisor or yeah and this is the deployment machine using so the machine is using mcs technology so i'm going to select mcs so if you are using pvs then you need to select citrix provisioning uh, which we will see on our next videos so as of now it's the mcs so i'm going to select mcs so it's loading the all, all the machines from your hypervisor which is connected with the delivery controller so you can see that this is my golden image for win 2k12 and um, just expand this and you can see that this is the snapshot which we have taken like uh, uh, on the golden image so it's like golden image win 2k12 01 so i'm going to select this click on next here you need to specify how many machines you want to create with this golden image so i'm going to select uh, i'm going to select three machines how many memories you want to give this virtual machine so i'm going to three gigs of memory to each virtual machine so i'm going not going to select device cache and all as of now i'm going to select next so here it's asking where you want to put this uh, virtual machine so i'm going to put in uh, citrix ou then vda then i have created the vda for uh, let me select uh, server vda pvs and so i have not created uh, for the uh, server os so let me quickly create this mm, let me go into my active directory so just select this tools active directory users and computers so just wait now it's the citrix ou it's the vda so here i'm going to create a new ou name is server hyphen vda hyphen mcs yes okay that's fine so we have created this let me refresh this now it's time to go into your delivery controller so just wait uh, this is the delivery controller so let me quickly go back and select this again here let me select this and it's not refreshing so let me refresh this so that it can pick the new OU from the uh, active directory so let me create this machine catalog again so click on next select the multi session OS select this and this the MCS I'm going to select so this is the golden image select that snapshot click on next here i'm now going to select three machines so click on next let me check if this time it's load the successfully so you can see that server vda for mcs has been loaded successfully now so now we need to give the machine name so i'm going to give the ctx mcs svr 
वी आर ऑल डी प्रोड सर्वर एंड हैश हैश सो इट विल टेक लाइक हैश हैश इज जीरो वन जीरो टू जीरो थ्री सो ऑन द नेमिंग कन्वेंशन इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएट द मशीन नेम्स एंड एंड इट विल ज्वाइन इन टू द डोमेन सो क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट सो हेयर वी नीड टू गिव द नेम सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द मशीन कैटलॉग विन टू के ट्वेल्व हाइफन एप्स हाइफन प्रोड सो दैट्स फाइन एप्स प्रोड बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू पब्लिश एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम दिस सर्वर सो क्लिक ऑन फिनिश so let me hide this so you can see that my machine catalog has been started creating so just wait so you can see that uh, it's in the progress and meanwhile let me go into my vcenter and you can see that it start cloning the virtual machines from the snapshot so guys it will take some time uh, i mean to create the virtual machines it will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes so meanwhile i'm going to pause this video so that <clears throat> we can see the process after uh, this completion so guys you can see that uh, my uh, 3 vd vms has been created for multi session os so let me quickly expand this and let me show you uh, what are the vds uh, vms we uh, has been created so you can see that so you can see that ctx mcs svr pro 010203 so this has been uh, created so as of now it's unregistered because we do not have uh, created a delivery group so let me quickly create a delivery group for multi session os so just copy this create a delivery group click on select so you can see that it shown that three machines has been available to create the delivery group so i'm going to select all three machines so click on next here uh, you need to uh, select that if you want to restrict any of the group so as of now uh, any of the users in my environment can access this delivery group but uh, uh, we can restrict from the limit visibility which i'm going to show you in uh, the next uh, part click on next here you need to select uh, what are the application you want to publish to the uh, user so i'm going to select from the start menu so let's quickly load any of one server so you can see that uh, it's saying that uh, waiting for virtual machine start and let me show in the background what is happening so you can see that there is one machine which has been started uh, by the video automatically so that it can fetch the um, uh, fetch the applications from this uh, uh, machines so you you see, you have seen that uh, the all three machines has been created from the same template so that's why it's starting only one machine so that it can fetch the application from that machine so just wait so it will take some time uh, to fetch all the machine uh, all the applications and you can see that it start uh, getting the applications from the virtual machine so as of now i am going to select the calculator i am going to publish to the end user and the next thing is i am going to publish uh, just wait the paint i am going to publish so these three application i have selected to publish to the end user so let me click on okay let me go into first application property so just give the name delivery group i am going to select the location prod and then fine limit here is the limit visibility so i am going to select citrix user check name citrix full admin i'm not 
just uh, going to select let me create a group in active directory so just go to this and create a user send group and create a group here called citrix hyphen baseline hyphen users so whatever the users into this group they are able to see the applications so let me quickly go into my uh, delivery group so let me search it again citrix and check name so you can see that there is two groups so i'm going to select citrix baseline click on ok ok okay the next i'm going to select notepad so again i'm going to put it into prod next prod limit visibility select add citrix hyphen baseline Citrix select baseline click on ok 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 the next three one is third one is also paint delivery delivery type click on road and in the limit visibility select Citrix select baseline click on ok ok and ok and click on next next here i need to give the name dg win 2k12 hyphen apps hyphen code the same type of name which we have given in the machine catalog click on finish So just refresh it. So you can see that there is three groups, uh, two delivery groups has been created. So just wait so that the machines can be registered. So you can see that one machine is already registered and another two machines automatically get started so uh, maybe first it will go into the initialized state and then it will go into the register so you can see that one of them another machine is getting initialized and the third one is also getting initialized okay so let me quickly go into my store storefront internal apps dot ctx cloud dot in so let me https internal apps dot ctx cloud dot in let me check why it's not loading it's not loading because my net scaler is down so let me start the net scaler because the load balancing of the storefront server we have done via net scaler if my net scaler is down then the website is not accessible hmm. 
it will take some time So guys in have after few videos like uh, after MCS complete process uh, we are going to use Citrix VM so I have created two servers for the Citrix VM which we are going to use in our later videos so just stay connected with the channel Citrix uh, Citrix cloud channel and just subscribe this channel so that we can see the complete Citrix training, uh, including app layering, Citrix VAM, and FS logics. So just stay connected with the CTX cloud. I am not posing this session because I just want to show you in the real environment how you guys can troubleshoot the issues if your website is not loading the storefront website is not loading what are the main causes of uh, the website which is not loading uh, uh, or, or from the storefront or etc so it's like a real time troubleshooting you guys are doing I have done this practice many times that's why I don't I know that my net scaler is down as an architect I know the my storefront website load balancing has been done via net scaler if my net scaler is down obviously the website is not going to work so you can see that I have do not touched anything and you can see that my website has been load automatically once my net scaler is up so let me log in with one user s s a h e r a n and india and let me select the domain let me check if my app applications is visible or not so you can see that my web applications is not visible because the group in the group which we have published the application uh, the srn is not a part of that group so you can see that members and there is no user so let me add one user here click on check name supply okay okay and just refresh it let me log off from here and let me log in here let me enter the username and password click on log on and let me cancel this and you can see that there is the icon for the application and here you can see that all three application which we have published is visible to the users and you can see that it's broad 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 so all three applications are in broad so uh, let me launch one application so that i can show you it's launching or not so let me click on ok and let me launch start launch and guys you can see that application has been lost so let me go into connection center and you can see that it has been launched by ctx mcs server pro 01 so that's it guys so this is uh, from the multi-session os uh, server perspective so in our next video we are going to see how you can publish the random vdis from a mcs image and 
after that we are going to upgrade the delivery uh, uh, the machine catalog for the multi session os where we are going to install some more application on that servers and upgrade the machine catalog and after that again the same thing we are going to do with the uh, random vdis because uh, in uh, it's uh, most common issues in the patching time that you need to patch the servers like multi session os and even in the random vdis so you need to guys need to open the mcs image you need you guys need to install some of the applications some of the patches and then you need guys need to update those uh, machines so in our next videos we are going to see all these parts so just stay connected with the ctx cloud and subscribe my channel thank you thank you guys thank you